Oh, yesterday was a terrible day. It was uh, hosing down all day long. I think they got 47 mils of uh, rain yesterday. So Peter Brown said, he's the authority. Yep, yep. And how's your current? Oh, good as, good as. We got wet, but the uh, drains worked well. <laughs> yeah, well, they're about 90% finished, yeah. Just need to uh, tidy them up and they'll be all done. Boys are just running around doing the final touches and uh, final inspection before pouring the uh, floor slab for this is going to be the 11 kV switch room for the new pole 3. The cabinets yeah. in this area here, that yeah. is a um, PFC channel inverted, it sits inside those two angles. Yeah, it's basically just switch gear will go in there which will switch the power from the uh, t uh, incoming transformers and provide uh, supply to the pole 3 auxiliary services. Um, Transformers. It affects all the lighting, all the power, all the pumps, all the fans and everything that makes the um, HVDC run. So, Thank you Matt. It's quite important. <laughs> so at the moment they're just going through checking all the reinforcings all in the right place, checking that all the earth things are uh, in there and um, that uh, everything's within the right tolerances, We've got enough cover for the concrete um, and it's all nice and clean and ready for the concrete. Actually, just to make sure of, that if they if they do need it, then it's in there. That, that's what they've done at Hayward. Oh, can we not see um, that? We've got the um, special heavy lift crane in, a 300 tonne crane, and uh, it's got to reach over over the building, over the spider. And this one's only the small one, but it's the one furthest away, so that goes first. A Delta 2000. This is a 10 Delta test set. We're going to be testing the bushing for pole 3 just to make sure that during a transit the conductor or the main conductor inside the bushing did not move or didn't hit the inner layers of the bushing. So that's it and we're going to test some small bushings with that just to make sure that everything is okay before they put it in. So we're just going to compare results from the factory test results and we got here and we make sure that they're almost the same. They're almost the same, they're all good. What's just happened? is we've almost got that LV, the low voltage DC neutral bushing in place, almost. Uh, it's now sitting in its final position there and they're just doing up the bolts, they'll take the threaded rods out and then um, lock it into its final position, it'll be good to go. We need the, the large crane for, there's another large one to go in shortly and then the smoothing reactor. Uh, so for this application the crane's quite large, it's a bit, bit of overkill really, but um, we'll use the same crane to do another two lifts, uh, hopefully the large uh, DC bushing. The test has been abandoned. So what happened was when you turn it on, the equipment needs to sense that there's a feedback between the ground to the specimen to the ground to the earth, it needs a loop and it's not sensing that ground loop, so that's why it's saying open ground, and when the open ground is on, you cannot test do not inject voltage because it, it needs a return path to earth if it doesn't sense that the test set will not go hmm. just looking at it's a problem here everything is so up properly might have the machine to fail or something yeah, I know. yeah but we're gonna start um, lifting again so yeah, no, we're gonna, we're gonna I think I'm going to abandon the, um, the lift for today. Uh, still doing testing to verify the integrity of the insulation of the uh, bushing uh, since it's been shipped to site. So um, there seems to be a problem with the test set. So um, we'll pack up today, put it down, and um, we'll try it again tomorrow, see if the technicians can work out what's going on. I was here at uh, half past five this morning here just to do a bit of preparation ready for this morning's work and uh, 
it's a, it's a good time to do a heavy lift like this in the, in the quiet of the, in the, in the still of the morning so it's all going well so far very pleased the boys have been well prepared and had their uh, work site safety plan all in place earlier this morning the level it's just dodging in and out between all the, the insulators and stuff so just be aware that The other corner, on the other side. This might just be able to spin off. Oh, we're going to need um, lift that smoothing rack to up top of the, the smoothing base here. And these right, these straps here, they're about 12 ton each lift capacity. We put them. There's four of them. Put them. Put them up top there, so we've got a safe lift around to the smooth rector. best time for a lift like this is because of the still of the morning you know in the valley here we always get the easterly wind coming up uh, the valley in the during the day and of course the higher winds as we go into the evening so the best time is yeah early in the morning early the better just at daylight and away we go and uh, as uh, we did the same thing with the major roof lift when we lifted the roof back in May last year it was done early in the morning in the quiet of the uh, still of the morning so it's always successful that way Less risk and uh, you can do it, do it safely. Yes. Slipping the smoothing reactor into place now. They've uh, just halted, halted the lift there. They're just spinning it around to make sure they've got the right orientation. Um, nice, nice calm and still this morning. It's um, first thing is about seven o'clock in the morning. So we'll get it up there before the wind gets up for the day. blowing in Benmore. Another couple of hours it'll be blowing again, won't it? Uh, still haven't quite finished yet, but we'll, we'll soon see it's going on all right, so... Not too bad, yeah. Not too bad. Still a few more to go yet, though. That was good. The weather was good, so... Um, as long as all the bolts line up, everything will be fine. No, it went well. No, Lovely site, and uh, the boys have done very well in their whole uh, planning and executing of the uh, execution of the job. Yeah, it's very well done. The um, bolts fitted very nicely. Just a slight adjustment uh, with the crane at one of the stage there, but uh, you know, very, very well, and very pleased. And great milestone to uh, as part of the, the overall project is to uh, have the um, easy smoothing reactor in place.